Hi, boys and girls. Happy Friday. I love Fridays. I bet you guys do too because we all worked really hard this week, right? I worked hard doing all the lessons and doing all the Zooms. I do four Zooms every day. And then sometimes in the afternoon, I have Zoom meetings with my uh, staff or my grade level, or now we have to sit in on IEPs. So I have been very, very busy this week. Um, I know the kids have been really, really busy because I've been getting their assignments on Seesaw and I just love, that's the highlight of my day is going to bed because I don't have time during the day. And I look at my iPad and I like to look at the assignments. I like to use my iPad because I have the cute little, you know, uh, emojis that I can send, little thumbs up or happy face. But you know who's really working hard besides teachers and, and students? Parents. So parents, you guys, you know, Pat yourself on the back. You guys deserve these weekend breaks. Um, I'm hoping you don't have to catch up on things on the weekend. I know I do, but I hope you guys can just relax. We all need to relax because we're all working so, so hard and the kids need to too. So it's okay to be happy that it's Friday and it's okay to be happy that we have a weekend and we have two days to rest up and have some fun, right? Okay, so I wanna sing the song I taught you yesterday and that's the number rock because I actually forgot a little part of it when I taught it to you yesterday. So um, we're gonna do it again, and I'm just gonna sing like I did yesterday. I'm gonna sing one, two, and then you repeat it, okay? I still need to look for that on, you know, either on YouTube or a CD so we can sing it together, maybe on Zoom. Okay, ready? My turn and then your turn. One, two, your turn. One, two, my turn. Three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Now we start over again. 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. Now spin around. Let's go. We're singing the number rock. This is the part I forgot. Now go cha cha cha. Let's go. We're singing the number rock. Now go cha cha. I knew I was forgetting something yesterday and I forgot about that cha-cha. Let's do it one more time, ready? Okay, I'll put the camera down a little bit. Okay, my turn and then you repeat. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Eight, nine, 10. Now we don't have 11 fingers, so we just start over again. 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. Now spin around. Let's go. We're singing the number rock. You guys ready? Go. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, wiggle. Okay, let's go. We're singing the number rock. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, good job, you guys. That's a way to wake you up, right? All right, let's do the calendar. It's still September. We're a little more than halfway through. The 15th was the halfway mark. Okay, September. Okay, let's start counting. One, two, three. Are you guys counting with me? I can't hear you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and the last one after 17 is 18. So I found the 18. It's a teen number. You hear me say eight, and you hear me say teen. Well, here's the eight. Where's the teen? The teen is this one here, because it's not just one. It's a bundle of 10. It's, it's 10 and eight more. Okay, we built that with the straws not too long ago. Oh, right, here we go. I can slide my eyes up and we can see what day of the week it is, but I would rather come over here because here we have all of them in order. Okay, here's the days we've already had. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, after Thursday comes. I'm pointing to it. Did you say it? What comes after Thursday? Friday. Let's spell Friday. Fantastic Friday. F-R-I-D-A-Y. Okay, very good. I'm gonna hang that up. Look, the week's almost over. We have had 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've had six days. There's only one left. So we have had six. And if we add one more, what is that? Seven. Okay, let's do this again. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good, okay, great job. And then you can see that the one that is not turned over is Saturday, okay, first day of the weekend. And then we also have Sunday, that's the weekend. Those are the two days that you do not have to come to school, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn these back over and I'm gonna move the tripod over here so you can see this part of the calendar. And we're going to go ahead and slide this to Friday. This keeps falling down. But boy, we have not had to change that halfway. Uh, in September, it's just been sunny. We've had a few days that were a little smoky, but it has been hot and sunny. Okay, and we want the number that matches the number on the calendar, and that's 18. So we're going to change this. We're not going to change any of this until next week, because next week we'll be doing a new letter. Uh, we're not going to do a new shape next week because we've got some things to review and kind of catch up on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and read what we have up here on our pocket chart. Today is September 18th, 2020. The day of the week is Friday. The weather is sunny and hot. The season is summer. I don't have anything that says season, but we'll be getting into that. The number we worked on this week is five, and we have five uh, bubble gums in the bubble gum machine, and we worked on tea this week, and wow, did you guys do a good job. We're gonna work on tea again today. Okay, we're at seven minutes, so guess what? We are going to do, uh, not zoophonics, we're going to do a really quick ABC practice. Okay, I'm almost done testing, and I'm pretty much getting, um, knowing who knows all their letters and sounds. There's only a few kids who know all their letters and sounds. That means all their capital, 26, all their lowercase, 26, all their sounds, 26. So that's 52 letters and 26 sounds, and I will let you know who that is. Now, there are some kids that know almost all of them. They're just missing a few. They just might get a few of the vowels mixed up. And then there's some kids that only know a few because they've never been in school before. That's okay. But um, I needed to know that so I can do some extra things with the kids who already know all their letters and sounds. They, they're ready to start reading, right? All right, so I'm only gonna use the lowercase letters today. And then on another day, we'll use capital. And do they have the picture of the animal? No, because I love the zoophonics cards. But if you always practice with those cards, boys and girls, then when I test you, you're not gonna know what this is because it doesn't have a picture of who on it. There's no alley alligator, right? So sometimes it's good to practice with just a plain set of cards, okay? And those are so easy to find. Order them on Amazon, I bet they're under $5, okay? So here's A. A is for apple, ah, ah, apple. Um, B is for ball, ba, ba, ball. Now you can still say ba, ba, because it still makes a connection from your brain to your mouth, right? C is for, what do they have? <gasps> cake, mmm, cake. D is for duck, d, d, duck, okay? I'm still doing my zoophonic signals, the, the actions. E is for elephant, this one's the same, eh, eh, or you can swing your trunk, eh, eh, elephant. F is for fish, this is the same, isn't it? I have to do mine with one hand because I don't want to put the cards down. G is for goat. It's a cute little baby goat. G, g, goat. We do the gordo gorilla even if it's a goat. Same sound. H is for house. <sighs> house. I is for iguana. I know that a lot of kids didn't know what that was. They called it a lizard and that's fine. Okay. Iguana. I. I, iguana. J is for jar. J, j, jar. Boy, you could put some jelly beans in that jar, right? Or maybe some jelly or some jam. L is for lion. 
lion. M is for mitten, M mitten. N is for nest, N nest. Maybe Nigel Night Owl lives in that nest, right? O is for octopus. This is the same as euphonics. Ah, ah, octopus. P is for pizza. P -p pizza. The pizza and the cake are making me hungry. Q, okay, see how Q has, it looks kind of like a G, but it comes down the other way. It has a little curl, or sometimes you see a check mark there. That's always a tricky one. Q is for quilt. Qu -qu quilt. Almost done. R is for rope, R -r rope. S is for sandwich, S sandwich. Maybe we're cutting the sandwich, <laughs> sandwich. T is for TV. I said hardly anybody has TVs like this anymore, right? I do, I have one in my office. T -t TV, or you can say television. U is for umbrella, uh. Uh, umbrella. V is for violin. V violin. I, I just, the other day on Zoom, I said you put the violin like this, like a little guitar, and you use a bow to put over the strings. W is for wagon. W w wagon. Maybe you're bumping up and down in your little red wagon. X is for. Oh, you guys, you know what? Let's just say Xavier Fox. Um. X is for Xavier Fox. X, X, X. I'll show you why. They put a little instrument here called a xylophone. I always think that's confusing for the kids. It does start with an X, but it makes a Z. So I always usually try to pull that out of there. Y is for yo-yo. Y-y-yo-yo. And Z is for zebra. Z zebra. Okay, we practiced our letters today. Good. Okay. All right, thank you, we are all done. I'll see you on Zoom today, bye-bye.